What's going on guys, in today's video we're going to be going over the Screenspace Global Illumination add-on plugin for Eevee. Now I've heard and I've seen some really really beautiful and crazy things about this plugin so I decided that I wanted to download it myself, test it out and um, yeah go from there. So I've already created a scene um, and I'm going to be using it in this scene. The scene is incredible, it looks a bit sensational so let's test it out and see shall we? I've already installed the plugin and stuff so we're just going to jump right into it. So this here is the scene. As you can see, it looks mm, 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 it looks powerful. It looks very, very powerful. You see, you've got the art command down here. You've got some rocks flying about. I'm not going to tell you what this is because it's a surprise. But yeah, so I've already installed the add-on. So let's get to it. Add SSGI. Are you ready for this? Three, two, one. Wow, 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 wow. Let's remove it. On, off, on, off. That is impressive. This is looking real close to cycles at the moment. Really close. So it works by screen space. As you can see, depending on where I go, the illumination will change. This is looking quite impressive. Solo in on this rock. Remove it. It looks quite flat at the moment. We turn it on. Bam! <laughs> yeah, okay. What about Mr. Arc? That's on. Off. Okay, yeah, depending on where I look, it does change. Off, on. So essentially, I don't know the exact science of how it works, but it does replace all of your shaders with its own. Look at this crazy shader network. Insane. I'm not even going to pretend to tell you what that is because I have no clue all i know is it works and it looks good it is faking the effect it isn't true global illumination but does it really matter when it looks like this that's impressive okay what i'm gonna do is i'm going to move around the hdri and let's see how it affects the image Wow, 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 wow. Off, on, off, on. So I can boost SSGI. I guess this makes the effect more pronounced. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's <laughs> that is uh, super overkill. We don't want that. Clamp input colors. Dark and direct light. Okay, interesting. I think we'd probably leave that to how it was. This can, oh, okay, this shows the disabled on and off effects. Or you can tweak in how much of the effect you want. I guess that's useful. Global illumination roughness. Oh, let's look at a rock. See what it's doing to the rock. Interesting. I kind of like how it is on zero, but default it was on one, so I'm going to leave it on one for now. Glossy. There's nothing. Let's find something more glossy. Rough and now. I'm impressed. This here is a cool. Look at that. I should just change the camera view and make it there, shouldn't I? Again, this is off. This is on. It really does look like cycles. I had a whole new dimension to the whole image, to the whole render, in fact. And this is real time. Okay, that's kind of cool. So now we have it 
almost backlit because the sun is back there. Global lumen off with global illumination off. On, off. Anyway guys, if you like this video, share, subscribe, comment, like. This add-on is pretty impressive. I'm very impressed. I'm going to start using it a lot more for my EV work. Um, I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to download it. It is free, but if you want to, you can give the creator a tip. I think it's well worth it. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.